If you're new to my channel, my name is Caroline and I appreciate you coming to uh, spend time watching my videos. So I just finished a Costco haul and I have a, a thrift store haul to share. Um, this is from a couple of trips to a couple of thrift stores and it's piling up here so I want to get it all put away. So let's get to it. I'm going to start off with books. We seem to buy a lot of books when we go to the secondhand store and I said to my husband, we need to stop or you're going to have to build another room as a library with floor to ceiling bookshelves. But anyway, we do like to read a lot and uh, let's get right into it. So these are some books that he picked up, this Penguin Classics, Plateau, The Republics. I think this is an old book. So he does like to try to find old books sometimes to read. Yeah, uh, founder, editor, 1944 to 1964. So he got that one. Just gonna throw them down here. Uh, we found this Earlish Irish Myths and Sagas. That's the date on this one. Yeah, same, 1944 to 1964. And these retailed for like $4.95 back in the day. And he found these cute little books. They're uh, hardback. The Odyssey. These were from, uh, looks like London, England. Or, no, actually it was London, Ontario. So he bought that one and this one. They're cute. And nice gold on them. These would make great little uh, coffee table books. It's got the little uh, built-in ribbon there mark what page you're on and then he found Passchendaele we've all watched that movie haven't we so that one retailed for $9.99 but that's not what we paid so I believe their soft cover are like $1.99 and the hard cover go up to $4.99 each it depends on I think the book cover price and again this is all sorry from uh, Value Village so when you do buy four books you get the fifth one free so we tend to always buy in in fives. Uh, what else did he buy here? He went and got this whole series. There's nine books um, by Simon Scarrow. So he got, that's a big one. The rest are all this size. So there's one, two, three. And these retail for... Uh, Actually, on the back here, it says UK $12.99. So, somebody must have brought them from the UK. And there's two more. Two more. So, it looks like he was able to find the whole series. So, there's nine books in total. Yeah, they're in excellent shape too. So he picked up those. I found more of that Patrick Taylor that I'm collecting. Uh, if you remember me saying that Patrick uh, Taylor, MD, was born and raised in Bangor County down Northern Ireland. I actually lived in uh, Bangor for a while. And uh, he's now, oh, sorry. Uh, he's a distinguished medical researcher, offshore sailor, model boat builder, and the father of two grown children. He now lives in Salt Spring Island, British Columbia. So he does have a series of books and I've been trying to find them all. Now these ones are a little bit different uh, looking. So I don't know if the storyline is any different or, so I, I actually like the look of these ones. So I found the Irish country courtship. So I didn't have that one. An Irish country village, which I think I did have, but not in this size of paperback. Uh, an Irish country Christmas. 
And there's prices on these that were $9.99. And this one, a Dublin Student Doctor. So I believe I have this one in that smaller back, um, paperback, but I like this series, this, the look of these ones. So, um, the Wiley O'Reilly Irish Country Stories. So this one's full of little stories, I believe. So I got that one. And Fingal O'Reilly Irish Doctors. So his books are really good, so they are. He is a USA Today, New York Times, and Globe and Mail best-selling author. So really good books. They're fun to read. So I did get those. I found uh, some more. Then, oh, here, this is the other ones. You can see the size difference. But this was another one that I didn't have. See the difference in them? So the ones I was collecting were all like this. So now we've got a collection of both. Um, an Irish Doctor in Peace and at War. And what was, oh, this one, An Irish Country Wedding. So I didn't read any of these. I don't have these in my collection. And An Irish Country Practice. If I remember correct, there's about 16 books in the series. So I'm, I'm getting there. I might be short one or two books now. I found some Danielle Steele. These ones were uh, soft cover, but that's okay. I like to collect the hardcover ones, but The Good Fight, so that was one I didn't have on my collection. And this one, I don't know when it dates back to. Because this is one I don't even remember. It says first published, 2018. So it's not very old, that one. So I got that one. Oh, throwing them on the floor there. Uh, Precious Gifts. I think this is a newer book too. I don't know what dates in this one either. You kind of can tell by the price on the back. Canada eleven ninety nine. So that was one of her newer books. A Country. Oh no, not that one. It's not Danielle Steele. Danielle Steele, The Dark Side. This one retailed for $11.99. And Danielle Steele, Turning Point. And she's always on the back covers of all her books. And Rushing Waters. So I do like to read when, you know, I'm not feeling great or... I'm at the hospital all day getting my treatment. I'll read a little bit, you know. Just something to do to shorten the day a bit. What else did I get here? I believe I got some more down here, but we'll get to those ones after. And then I saw this, thought this would be a nice little Christmas read. Um, Nora Roberts, First Impressions. Got the little Christmas tree on it. It's a hardcover book. And this retailed in Canada for $20.95. And any of these books that we pick up, I mean, they're in excellent condition. I don't even think anyone's read this. So, yeah, that looks good for Christmas read. Got Debbie uh, Macomber, 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 A Country Affair. And what did this one retail for? It doesn't say on the back here. $11.99 Canadian. Another uh, number one New York Times best-selling author. So I got that one. What else did we get down here? Maybe this for me. This was, uh, my husband found this one, Grey Dawn. It's an old, very old book. It was published in, it's pretty awesome. We looked it up online too. Copyright 1927. And then, and then there's also a copyright 1925, 1920. So we'll see that right in there. Now this one was marked $3.99, so that's the price we had to pay for that. 
but it's awesome to find these old books. Eh? You can see it's been weathered, sitting on someone's bookshelf. I saw the whole series of these, so I picked these up. They're Nora Roberts. So book one was uh, Vision in White. And this one sold for $20 US, I mean, sorry, Canadian, $16 US. That's her on the back. So if you see, this is book one in the, in the Bride uh, Quartet. So that was book one. Book two was Bed of Roses. Again, uh, retail for $20 at the bookstore, you Canadian. And what was book three? Savor the moment. I don't think these have been read either. These, you know, they look like uh, it's brand new. There's no spine breakage or anything on them. This was book four in the Bride Quartet. Uh, happy Ever After. So I'm looking forward to reading those four books. That's her on the back. So each book uh, was $20 each. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy prices that people pay at the bookstore. When I buy books, I keep them. I do, I keep them. Now, I also found this Danielle Steele. This is on a hardback. Uh, Granny Dan says it was listed for $29.95. It was on sale for $18.96, but I probably only paid $4.99 for it, or I got it as one of the free books. It does say on the back, though, $29.95 Canadian. So, yeah. So I pretty much have all Danielle Steele books. Just some of the older ones I don't have and some of the latest ones that she wrote there during COVID because they were hard to keep up with <laughs> trying to trying to get some of them. This one is uh, another Danielle Steele, To Love Again. I think this is one of her older books too. She looks quite young there. So that was that book. This one was The Sins of the Mother, and another hardback. She kind of looks young in that one too. Not sure how I'm gonna get out of my room here. Pile of books all over. Uh, HRH, I do have this one in soft cover and I have read it, but I like, like I said, I like to have them in hard cover on my bookshelf. Pretty much have one full bookshelf just of Danielle Steele. And when I see a book of Ireland from where I'm from, I like to pick them up. They're great coffee table books. So it's Reader's Digest, Complete, Revised, and Updated, Illustrated Guide of Ireland. So this has beautiful pictures and all in it. Let's see if there was a retail price. You know, the old castles and... So yeah, when you got somebody visiting and they just want to sit and flip through the book here, see the nice photographs. Everybody wants to be Irish, especially on St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's Irish for the day. So yeah, so this is going to be good. A good read. And the last one was another book of Ireland. So this one was just as Ireland. And I will make my journeys in life and health that stand on to that pleasant country, that fresh and fragrant strand, and leave you boasted braveries, your wealth and high command for the fair hills of Holy Ireland. And I just love the little thatch cottages. People still live in these. Yeah, you go down to Southern Ireland and there's still loads of little um, cottages like that. And the sheep in the fields, and well, there's some of our breads that we make. So I love books like this. And I, I was a very avid uh, knitter. I would knit all the um, Irish Aran cardigans. 
but uh, my arms don't allow me to knit so much anymore, so it's kind of disappointing. If I try to knit anything, I can only do a little bit at a time, and it takes forever to finish something. Then you forget the pattern in your head. But that's, that's what it looks like over there. The 50 shades of green, the fields of Ireland. So that was it for books. Then I found uh, one of these. It was $1.99. Uh, you know, the little board that you put the letters in. So I do have the letters and uh, I do like to, to put stuff in these for the different holidays. So I did pick up that. Thought it was all right for $1.99. We got these, uh, we do have a Keurig machine and my husband likes these, uh, what do they call these? I think they're called a carafe, right? So we did buy this one. Uh, this one doesn't look used at all inside. Like we do have one and he loves it. We make uh, tea in it and it'll stay warm for at least an hour and a half to two hours in it. But I thought let's get one so that one is dedicated to coffee. One is dedicated to tea because I don't drink coffee myself and I don't like, I don't like when I get a coffee taste in my tea. Now this is similar to the one, oh sorry, this one I bought at the, a different, um, thrift store. It was from the uh, Bibles for Missions and I believe it was $3.99 for this one. Now we did pick up this one at Value Village and it was $5.99. We have one just like this but the lid broke. Um, you know this part up here it broke and I did glue it in but it, it just keeps popping off so we've got an extra one with a good lid. So we bought those and I have a set of these in green and everybody loves them when they come over in the summer to have corn. They are ceramic. They were $7.99 for four corn holders. Now like I say my other set is green but I only have four so now I've got a set of eight. We picked up those. What else did we get? Got some uh, Teopia mugs. I like a clear mug like this when you're having a, um, you know, a tea or even hot chocolate in it. So these were a dollar ninety nine, and I don't believe Teopia exists anymore here in Canada. They're a good size too. So if I'm having a herbal tea, you know, you get to see the nice color. Or um, I don't want them to break, so let's put them back here. So, or, or some hot chocolate, it's nice. And they're good, I like the handle on it. So, those were cute. I do collect Tim Hortons mugs, and I've never seen this one. Well, it's kind of pricey for a secondhand store. Um, they want it $5.99 for it. But I like the mousse on it. It's got the Tim Hortons marking inside. And the Tim Hortons from 2019, so Probably didn't see it because uh, I don't think I was out much in 2019. So I did get that for my collection. I saw this where a lot of people wouldn't know what this is. This is an Irish um, an Irish mug and I know there's a British shop here in Belleville and they sell these for $30 each. I, I already have one but this is this one's a little bit different. Mine's more of the tea mug and this is like a coffee mug. So I did pay $1.99 for it. It says good health on the top and slancha. So slancha means cheers in Gaelic. So I was happy to find that. So it is Irish weave uh, bone china. So these do come right from Ireland. So I love when I find things like this from, from home at secondhand stores. I think there's a lot of Irish and English uh, that live down this way. And then I seen these cute little uh, crystal, you can hear the crystal, pinwheel crystal little glasses. And I thought these would be perfect for drinking my uh, tequila rose. I do like tequila rose. So I've paid $4.99 for both of them. And I have to admit, alcohol always tastes better in crystal. 
It really does. If you're having an Irish whiskey, have it in some crystal. And then we saw these. So these will add to our little bar. All the Irish ales. So there's Harp, there's Guinness, Kilkenny, and Smithwick's. And each little glass is marked. Yeah, the Kilkenny. Something fun to sit at the bar. And the Harp. Came in this cute little uh, wooden box and it was $7.99. everything sitting in front of me here. <laughs> We've seen another little candy dish for $1.99. It's cute. It's just glass. So I may put this in, uh, we're doing up a little um, gift basket for my husband's 94-year-old uh, grandma. So I'm kind of just giving her, you know, a box of tea and some cookies and, you know, consumable things. But this might be nice. We got her some ginger uh, candies and maybe she could put them in that. So that's where this might go. Just a little um, appreciation gift. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to show this, but I did buy a mirror. I'm going to cover it up here. So that you don't see my mess all over my table here. But if any of you remember, uh, there was unique makeup being sold. I need to put a battery in it. But anyway, this, this mirror lights up. It's a good size. It has a stand on the back. And it was $2.99. And it does light up. Um, I'll just kind of show you there. The strip here lines up, lights up, but there's no batteries in it. I should have put some in. But I bought that for myself as well. What else did we buy at Family Village? Got some more. Saw this plate. I thought this is going to be really cute at Easter time. I'm always thinking ahead. So it's got the uh, carrots and little bunny in the middle. And it did come from Ross in the U.S. Because we don't have a Ross here in Canada. I only paid $1.99. Let me peel that off. It's got another sticker underneath it. So it does say hand. Uh, I can't even read that. There he is. And then it does, I can't see the Ross price, but then it was reduced to $1.99. So I guess that's why they decided to sell it for $1.99. It was made in Portugal. So that'll be cute at Easter time. I like to decorate. So I got that for Easter. I saw this beautiful little uh, snowman. Put a tea light in him. He's quite tall, so he might be nice sitting in a tiered tray too. He'll just give it some height. And I paid $3.99 for him. And then I saw these little snowman wooden cutouts. Uh, it's a coaster set. I thought this was fun too. And the little wire, you can rearrange them. They have an elastic on it, but you pull the little snowman out. And they're coasters. Put your drinks on. It says made in China. It's cute. There's one, two, three, four. There's six coasters in it. Yeah, it doesn't have any markings on it. And it was uh, $5.99. Just something fun to sit out. And then I bought one of their little bags uh, for $3.99. The reason I bought it was because uh, for the snowmen that are in it. So I haven't opened it up yet. So let's open it up and see what's in there. I can always hang the other more ornaments on a gift or something. Let's see what we get. You get a little uh, bear. He only has one ear. I guess his hat's covering the other one. So there's that little ornament. There is Santa here. What's going on here? They're tied up together. Santa with a wreath hanging below him. Oh no, it's not even. It's a bear. You know what? That would be nice just to take off and glue on to a craft. 
So I just may be doing that with that. And another little bear. But what I really liked was the uh, wooden, I really got it for the wooden uh, snowman here. Oh, okay, I'm going, why is his arm, this goes in. I have to glue that back in. It's got a little wire on it. But I did get it for him. And the other guy, where's the other little snowman? His is broke off too. I'm gonna have to glue him back together as well. There's just little wooden dowels. Just as long as I throw some glue on it and glue them back together, there we go. So they're cute. And there was a little heart in there too. So it says two dollars on the back of it. But we could use that little heart for Valentine's Day. So that's what was in that little bag of goodies. Uh, what else did I get? What else? Saw this uh, candle holder to sit on the table. It's reindeer and trees. It's all tea lights. Little tea lights will go in it. So there'll be four tea lights and it does curve. And it was $3.99. So I thought that was cute. And my other Christmas item, this is uh, a Hallmark item. Piano Snowman, I paid $7.99 for him. I mean, the tags are still on him. Somebody must have got him last year for Christmas and re-gifted him to the Value Village. The weather outside is frightful. The fire is so delightful. How cute is that? He's cute. He just keeps on going. The grandkids are like that. <laughs> so yeah, he's fun. And I believe I bought this at Value Village too. I seen a lantern, four ninety nine. A little black lantern opens up. I like to decorate with these too. It's got the little handle, and again, it's still got the. Uh, the tag on it, so it's never been used. So a little black lantern, decorate for Christmas. And I have one more item from Valley Village, but I'm leaving that till the end, cause you'll see why. So what else? When I bought that at Carafe, like I said, at the Bible for Mission store, I actually, uh, I was waiting for a prescription and they said it would be about half hour. So I went across the street to the Bible's Permission store and I bought this stuff. Uh, this was $2.99. It's a uh, fine bone china made in England. And I just love shamrocks. And I have a little display of Irish shamrock stuff in my china cabinet. So another little piece to add to it. I have this Corral dinner set. And this is actually a milk uh, creamer, but I'm going to use it as a gravy boat. Because something like this holds more gravy in it than, you know, a long gravy boat. So that's what we're doing with this. And it was $2.99. So I like to collect that. I love Corel. It's so light, but believe it or not, it does break. Because I have dropped a few, a few plates and they have shattered all over the floor. And then I saw this little bowl. It, it was $2.99. It was probably not worth $2.99, but it is a heart. And I was thinking Valentine's Day when I seen it. So I picked up that. And 
the last item from that little store was this Irish Myths and Legends. Cute little book. And it's got a little uh, charm there hanging off it. And this was 99 cents. I have another little book just like this that sits in my cabinet as well. So I believe that was everything that I have bought. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. There's two more things. Forgot about these. Let me go reach here and grab them. And I did have their price tags sitting here and now they're gone. Oh, they're right there. Okay. Because I put all this uh, dishes right in front of me here. I don't want to knock anything over. Oh, that would be typical of me. I'm always having a smashing time. <laughs> Alrighty, here, let me reach, sorry. I found this green cardigan. And again, I don't think this was ever worn. So it's a nice little light green cardigan. The sleeve has some button detail, almost similar to the cardigans I just bought at uh, Giant Tiger this year. And I like how the back is done. You see that little bit of a band through the back there? And it's not very long, so it'll be nice just to wear with a pair of jeans. So I bought that, and that was uh, $9.99. It, it says it's an extra large, but it's not very big fitting. So that was that green cardigan. So I have to get that in the laundry and wash it. And then I found this. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a, a scarf, but you could wear it as a shawl. How pretty is that? And green is my color. Brings out my green eyes. So I'll be bringing this to the hospital with me just to wrap it around my shoulders when I'm getting my treatment. Very pretty. And this was $7.49. So you never know what you're gonna find when you go to the thrift store. Oh, and the other thing that we found too, uh, it was too heavy to bring in here, but we found one of those outdoor heaters. It's brand new in the box. Um, we looked it up while we were in the store and to see what the value on it was. It's a tabletop one. Uh, it sells for $249 new. Uh, we paid $70 for it. And the day we were in as well, I had the 20% off coupon. So we did really well with that. Uh, my husband was reading the instructions and it says it takes 30 minutes to assemble. Uh, so he hasn't put it together yet, but he did go out and buy little propane tanks that go in it. So he went, once he builds it, um, he's going to, uh, we'll use it. So we will when we're sitting outside in those chilly nights and that. So yeah. That was a really good purchase as well. And here is the last purchase that I was excited to find. You're all gonna laugh, but anyway, it was a handmade wooden baby. Um, it's kind of like a little baby cradle. But the minute I seen it, my eyes went uh, straight to sleigh, Christmas sleigh. It is made in pine and it was stained. Somebody has, uh, put their name on the back and they made it in 1974. So it's a old piece. It's heavy. So there's that. There is rockers on it. Um, I'm going to get my husband to take the rockers off because I think you know where I'm going with this. That uh, rod iron sleigh that I bought at Canadian Tire. We're going to mount this onto it. It's a perfect size. Oh, I can't reach it, but it's a perfect size. And we're going to have a sleigh full of presents sitting under the tree in the living room. I just love this. So that's that was my plans. I knew I was going to make a sleigh with it. So I'm going to get my husband to take the rockers off because it didn't look right sitting up because you could see the rockers. So get him to take it off and maybe uh, drill through the two pieces of wood and attach them for me. So once he does that for me, I will show you all the finished, uh, the finished product. But isn't that just beautiful? Going to make a perfect sleigh. I'm excited. 
totally excited, probably overexcited that I need to be. But anyways, that's it for this um, this haul. So, like I said in the past, if you're enjoying my videos, I really appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's growing quite fast, in my opinion, and I really appreciate it. So, thanks very much. Hope everyone is well. Take care, and we'll see you on my next video. Bye! Guess who? It's me again. I got so excited about my sleigh, I forgot to show this last item. Uh, we picked up this snowsuit for my, my husband's second cousin. And I think she's five, five years old, five or six. But anyway, I couldn't, I couldn't not get this for her. This is really well made. It was a snowsuit, Oshkosh Bigosh. And it's done in navy blue with pink. I thought the colors were just beautiful on it. And it was in that Bibles for Mission store and I paid $20 for it. I messaged them to say, if she, does she need a snowsuit? And they said, yes, you can never have enough snowsuits. And if you look inside too, the way it was made, it's got that, um, you know that middle band for like, oh, to go around the bottom of their waist, the little snap band and then you zip her up so uh, I it's it's heavy it is heavy it's size 7 might be a little big on her this year but it will fit her I mean these pants haven't even been worn so I don't know what these things go for new but for 20 bucks I thought I got a good deal here the genuine article I don't even think anybody wore it they haven't even wrote inside it or anything so the little bib uh, snow pants to keep her warm. So excellent deal. I'm going to wash it up for them and put that away for her. The funny thing is she's young. It's my husband's second cousin. But when we get together and we always just say your cousins and she'll say, how come my cousin is so old? <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> he, he should be more like an uncle, not a cousin. But anyways. Yeah, so that was, I wanted to make sure to throw that in too so I can get all this stuff put away. All right, take care. Bye.